Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to the coding with T. Today we are going to learn how to create a stack widget in Flutter. Stack widget is basically a layout widget which help us to align the widgets or the elements on the screen. This is the last video of this section but this is not the least video of our tutorials. We, are, we will be creating more videos but for this basic crash course this is the last video of section 2 of creating stateless widgets. To properly learn stack we are going to cover two basic examples. The first one will be using simple containers. I will try to create few containers and using a position widget we will try to align the elements in the stack. And as per the name suggests stack means that we can place elements one above another like a stack from top to bottom. And then we are going to create a very beautiful card as you can see on your screen. A card with, the, with some text so we can try to place that text. Uh, wherever we want using a stack and a position widget so let's get started as you can see we are in section 2 and we are about to create the last video and then we have a bonus video as well in which we are going to create our custom widget with the help of multiple widgets so let's get started over in our studio we are inside the project created in our section 1 again if you are new please watch the previous videos and you can get the link of the playlist from the right top corner so head back to the home screen we created and in the previous video we learn how to create a floating action button and you can also get the link of the floating action button from the right top corner so you can see we learn the floating action button we learn how to place its change its location and also we docked it on the bottom navigation bar we learn how to create this bottom app bar so uh, for this tutorial let me just clean everything we first need an app bar in here I have created a simple app bar with a title saying text uh, it's a central line and it has a background color close this app bar and then let's say we want to add a background color to our application okay now we have we know how to add a body in the body let's place a center title because we want to place our all the elements in the center and as a child in here we are going to create our stack widget to create a stack widget you just have to write stack with curly brackets and control space to see all its properties as you can see it's a layout widget and it has a multiple children's option a list of children's then we have alignment we have text direction clip behavior so let's go for the children so inside you can see we can add multiple children's so i am going to create container container will have some width some height and to see that container let's add a background color its colors colors dot green so to change the effects let's run the application you can see our application is running and we have a simple container with the width of 300 height of 200 and its color is green so now as it is the children of stack let me just add one more container just copy this paste it here and change its width make it a bit smaller so we can see it clearly change its color as well save it and you can see that we have two containers placed right on top of each other so the first one will be laid down and then on the top of that we have the next container and by this way we can keep adding the values as as its children of the stack and they will be keep placing on top of each other so we can add one more container to clearly understand the concept save it and you can see that oops it's 500 it's 50 and you can see that i have just tagged three containers so how we can position them in the stack so the first first of all in the stack above the children's property you can see we have alignment here it's simply alignment dot put it center save it and you can see that we can easily put all the elements or all the children of the stack to the center but they are currently stacked right on top of each other but overall all the children placed in the center then you can see we have also a bunch of options center right top left bottom left save it you can see they are aligned on the bottom left we also have a text direction here text direction dot left to right is default and for example we are going for the right to left save it and you can see that it is starting from right side and going toward the left side so this is again an option 
for example we don't want to place our elements uh, not with this tag options but we want to position them so to position them we have a position widget uh, inside the flutter so we are going to use it let me just make alignment to center now they are at the center so let's jump to the second container press alt enter and we know how to wrap the widget in another widget so another widget is going to be position widget and save it nothing changed because we yet have to define the position you can see in the position widget we can easily go for right top left bottom so let's say we want to make it bottom zero save it and it's at the bottom and again i'm going to wrap the another one wrap it the widget wrap it in the oops, position widget and this time let's make it right 50 50 from the right side and you can see that it's right there a bit more 40 this is how we stack elements in the flutter and also we can position them using a position widget so let's take uh, a real example here so we can better understand things let me just clear this tag and in the center now I want to put a container and again if you don't know how to create a container and how to design a container you can watch the video link is in the description and also you can uh, get it from the right top corner okay now inside the container let me just design it quickly okay in here I, I have just created a container container contains some padding 16 from the sides then we have a constraints box constraints width and height of the box then for the decoration for the box decoration i have added a shadow let me just close this uh, a single shadow here then i have added a background image and a border radius so we covered each and everything in our container video which uh, i'll drop the link in the description you can get that from there you can also get uh, this code from the link down below in the description uh, or you can visit temusikandar.com so let me just close this one this decoration let's save it let's see how it looks like and you can see that i have added one image using assets i just displayed that image on the screen using a box decoration so before closing the container inside this container we want to add child of this container so we know we have a child property and in the child we can add stack let me just scroll up and now inside the stack we know we have a stack widget now inside the stack let me just add four texts because i want to display text on different areas of this image okay in here i have added four texts and uh, this is a text then i have added a style simply using its color and font size so this one is a pure white and these this one is not a pure white and different sizes so let me just run it you can see that they are stacked right on the top left corner uh, right uh, on top of each other so i don't want to make them like that so let's just try to wrap this i want to keep my first text right there where it is wrap the second one with the position widget like this and i want to push it from the top 50 points and also let me just wrap this one as well in the position widget and this one is going to the right side let me just make right zero and it will be from bottom 20 again the last one wrap it again with the position widget and this is at the end or the bottom of the screen so for that i have to write bottom zero and also on the right side so write zero as well let's save the code and you can see we have to give a bit more space to this one and you can see that we can perfectly align all the text where we want so by this way i hope you learn the importance of stack so there are many other examples we can create beautiful cards using the stack widget we can display the information where we like so i hope you learn something new if you learn something new or if you like the video please press the like button also if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe it because more amazing videos are coming we are going to start our section 3 and then we are also going to create our own applications from scratch to till bottom and we are going to master this flutter we are going to cover the back end front end and also the databases data structures each and everything so stay tuned don't forget to subscribe
Thank you for watching. Take care. Allah Hafiz.